Hello, my crafty friends. Nicole here from Sugar and Scraps Stamping. Um, I am here with my Wednesday class to go. We are using the Charming Duck Pond tonight. And the four cards that I have for you, I did case from another demonstrator. Um, I saw them and thought they were super, super adorable, so I tried to mimic them. They are by the amazing Melissa Faust. Um, if you've not seen her work, she's an extremely talented demonstrator. Love all of her projects. Um, so I've got to give her the credit for these cards. Um, but they are super duper 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 cute and I'm so excited to share them with you. So we are using the Charming Duck Pond um, stamp set and there's a couple of dies that we're going to use. I do have everything pre-cut and pre-die cut and all of that. So all we've got to do is stamp and assemble. But I am going to go ahead and jump in. So let me start by showing you the cards we're going to make. And my first one here, you'll have to excuse, I got, um, I dropped an ink pad on it, so there's a smudge. But we've got, super duper cute, and this one. We've got this one. And then we've got this one. So four super adorable cards. As always with my class to go, if you place an order before Friday in my online store, um, the shopping link is in the description, um, but if you place an order by Friday of $40 or more before tax and shipping, you're going to get everything you need to make these four cards except for stamps and ink, obviously. Um, but you'll get all the other little pieces that you need. Highly recommend this bundle if you don't have it. It is the Charming Duck Pond bundle and it is super duper cute, so much fun to play with. So let's go ahead and jump in and we're gonna start making our cards. So, starting with our card base, which is Lost Lagoon. Oh, I've got to grab a scrap. Oh no, I've got my scrap of white. Okay, we're good. So I'm just going to layer all my pieces up. Uh, I had hoped that my dogs would stay quiet, but um, I do apologize. If you hear them, they're very playful this evening. So, um, if you hear them carrying on, it's just because they're having a good time tonight. They're excited for the four-day weekend this weekend, I guess, too. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I've got my little layers here. And then what I'm going to do is take my, I've got a little strip of pink cardstock a little strip of designer series paper and I'm gonna put glue on the back side of both of these and maybe I can make this one without dropping my black ink pad on it huh all right so my pink strips gonna go right about here and my DSP strip is gonna go right on top of that And then I've got a die cut circle of designer series paper. And I'm using the little pebbled path design here. And my circle is cut out with the um, stylish shapes dies. I used one of the circles from the stylish shapes dies. It wasn't the largest, I think it was the next size down from that. but. All right, so I'm going to glue my little pieces on. No, I'm going to stamp. So um, I've got my little white strip here, and in Lost Lagoon, I'm going to stamp my greeting. It is, you make me happy. 
because who doesn't like being told that they make somebody's day better? Put a little bit of glue here. I don't think I put my circle up high enough. Oops. All right, so now I'm gonna glue on all my little pieces and then we'll do our duck. We are going to do a little bit of die cutting with our ducks. Um, but these little pieces were a lot to cut out. Mm -hmm. So I just tucked that under the white strip a little bit. And we're going to do the same with this one. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it sounds like my dogs are talking when they get to playing. Um, especially my big dog. She makes the funniest noises. liquid glue you have to hold it down sometimes to make sure it sticks Then what I'm going to do is just put a little dot on each of these and we're going to come in with the flowers You can see these do have like little lines in them so the glue does squeeze through a little bit if you had glue dots or um, probably even like the adhesive sheets would work good for these okay now we're gonna do our duck and I have just a little scrap piece of white. And I want this duck. I want the duck that's facing to the right. I think it's time for me to clean my clear blocks again. They are pretty fingerprinted and yucky. Um, okay, so hopefully this piece will be big enough for all of the die cutting we have to do. So I am going to use some Stampin' Blends. I'm going to use my Light Pool Party. I'm going to use Light Pebbled Path. I am going to use Light Pumpkin Pie, Light Calypso Coral, and it's my Dark Mossy Meadow. My light mossy meadow, so I'm using all the light colors. Uh, pumpkin pie, pool party, pebbled path, calypso coral, and mossy meadow. So my light pumpkin pie is going to be for my beak and my feet. And these are the same colors I'm going to use on all of the ducks. So, um, and of course, if you decide to make these cards, um, Whatever colors you have will work just as well. All right, so I'm gonna come in here on the feathers of the wings and that band around the neck with my pool party. My pebbled path, I'm gonna do the bulk of his body. I 
I was thinking about it after I started and I should have grabbed my smoky slate blends made them just a little bit lighter of a gray I think that would have been pretty too okay and then we're gonna come in with the mossy meadow and again these are all my light blends and we're gonna do the upper part of his wing and the top part of his head And then on his little chest, I'm going to use my light Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to fill in this little bit here. So there's that. I'm just going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to Pull this excess off here. It's garbage. And I'm going to get my die for my duck that's facing to the right. I'm going to have to snip this. And we are going to die cut this little guy out. This is where I always struggle, is um, getting my dies to cut out straight. I do have post-it note tape um, and post-it notes that I use sometimes to hold them down. But I didn't bring those out with me, so let's see how, oh, not too terrible, not too terrible. Okay, so I am just going to stick this guy on with a dimensional. Just one. And I'm going to put him kind of like right here, I think. With his little tushy behind the, the weeds. And then I'm going to bring in my, these are the 2024-2026 in color resin dots. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this color this time because it is the closest to the Lost Lagoon. Hey, no. And I'm going to go this way with them. Try not to touch the adhesive too much because it does um, decrease the integrity of it and they don't always stick that well. But um, there we have our first little card. Okay. So now we're going to move on to our second one. And I like this purple. And I honestly wanted to use it again. All right, so um, I call it purple. I don't know if you think it was purple or not. But um, gosh, I think it's Petunia Pop. I've got some Pretty Peacock, White, and Pool Party, and then that Pebbled Path again. So I'm just gonna start by layering my pieces. bit of my liquid glue. I like the liquid glue when I'm doing my layers because it gives me that little bit of time to get my edges nice and straight. before it sticks all the way. When I use my adhesive runner, it tends to stick and then my corners end up crinkled because I have to fix them. Um, okay, I am going to take a little bit of 
Lost Lagoon and Pool Party, and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on our white. I'm gonna change this up a little bit from my sample. And so I'm gonna get my scrap piece here, and on the back of it, I'm just going to block that off. Most of this will be covered by my patterned paper here, but we're gonna do Okay, that'll still be good. And then I'm gonna stamp a um, one kind of right here. And that was all in pool party. And then I am going to do the what would be the fuzzy part of the cattails. All right, I gotta get um, I'm doing that in Lost Lagoon, so it is a little bit darker. here with it. Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to put my little DSP strip on my cardstock shirt. Mm -hmm. Trying to get this lined up here. Okay. No, I'm going to leave that. It's my last lagoon. I'm going to leave that out because we're going to use that one more time. So then my piece here. One more little scribble there. We're going to go right about here with it. Okay, and then I've got my um, pool party rectangle. I cut this one out with the deckled rectangle dies. got my little banner here for my saying we're gonna do have a lovely day I'm gonna put that kind of right in the center or as much in the center as I can get it okay and then I need my duck that is facing to the left and the little frog. And we're gonna stamp these two guys. In Memento ink again. So now, I'm going to set this aside and bring those colors back in. And this one, we're going to do the bulk of the body in Pebbled Path. And again, these are all my light, my light colors for the blends pairs. Because when you get the blends, you get a light and a dark. So I am using only the light. So we got our pebbled path for the body. 
I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use Calypso Coral this time. And I'm just going to kind of feather that onto the wing tips here. And then my light pumpkin pie is going to be her beak and her feet. And then my frog, I'm going to do dark granny apple green for the lily pad. And I'm going to do light mossy meadow for his body. Whoops. All right. Then I'm going to bring my cut machine back in. And we are going to get our frog die and the other duck. We're going to line these up the best that I can. Cutting plates are very well loved, so they are very scratched up, but that doesn't change the, oh, that almost went down my air vent. My little duck and my little frog, I'm gonna move this out of the way here. We're gonna use that machine one more time. just a minute all right so now take and I'm gonna put a dimensional on each of these pieces I glue my greeting down right about here stick my duck and my frog on and then we're gonna pick some colors I just realized my greeting is super duper crooked it has been so hot here in Tennessee. I'm sure it's hot everywhere, but it has been so hot here in Tennessee. And the horse flies are out like you wouldn't believe. This morning I had gotten to work and I was sitting in my car. This has absolutely nothing to do with ducks. I don't know why I'm sharing this, but this morning I had gotten to work and I was sitting in my car and I kid you not, a horse fly the size of a small hummingbird landed right on my driver's side door. I don't like horse flies. They're the only bug I can't stand. And I will literally run away from them. That thing would not leave my door. And I had to go in and clock in and start my day. So I climbed across my front of my car and got out the passenger side door. Um, and one of the ladies that I work with saw me and asked me what I was doing. I had to point out the horse fly. The thing, I mean, it was the biggest one. I've never seen a horse fly so big. It was humongous. Anyways, there's our second card. All right. Next. I like this one, but I think I'm going to go grab. Nah, we're going to just stick with it. We're going to go with it. So we got our pieces. Do this. Now, I'm going to stamp in Pool Party in Lost Lagoon again. Pull this 
these two stamps back out. And let's see. What am I going to do? I'm going to do this. Make a mark with my pool party. And that's going to be about where I stamp my images. Okay, so we're going to go pool party for the... the weeds or whatever you want to call these things. And then I'm going to go Lost Lagoon for what would be the fuzzy part of the cattails. And bear with me, i got to line up my stuff. One. That one was way off. And two. That's a little bit better. While I've got my stuff out, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp my greeting while I've got my ink open. Okay. Dang it, I hate when I do that. Stuck my thumb right in the ink pad. Anybody else have a problem with that happening? It's like every time I go, now my thumbnail is going to be stained for a week. All right, I'm going to stamp just a little bit off the edge there. And I'm going to run my liquid glue on the edges here. Flip that over, and we're just going to put this right over that circle. I think a little bit of glue comes out, but I just wipe it off with my finger. All right, so then I take, I did not do this with my sample, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this up with some dimensionals and it's probably overkill. I get a little uh, too happy with my dimensionals sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna make sure this is going the right way. Don't want it to open wrong. This would be super adorable for like a masculine birthday. Two more dimensionals for my greeting, which is gonna go, I'm gonna put this one right here. Too high, I won't come down a little bit. Okay, and then we've got to stamp a couple more ducks. So we're gonna use both of the ducks um, both of the big ducks. Let me see if I can get these both on here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Bring in my big. Get my memento block here. Stamp these two down. And then we'll color. All right, so back in with our light pebbled path to the bulk of the boy duck's body. And we're going to do the bulk of the female duck's body.
And if you guys don't mind, I would love some feedback on my videos. Um, I'd love to know what kinds of things you'd like to see. Do I go too fast? Do I go too slow? Do I talk too much? Like, I would love feedback so that I can improve my my lives and my videos and stuff. So, um, yeah, if you wanted to leave some feedback, it would be much appreciated, whether it's positive or negative. Um, I am open to all sorts of um, feedback. Just, you know, it all is to improve my skills and your your enjoyment uh, while you watch my card making things. So, feedback, leave it in the comments. If you love it, just leave me a like or share my video. Um, that's actually the best way you can can help me out is by sharing my stuff. Um, okay. Last little die cut, because the last card I've already die cut the pieces. And I may even, since I'm off tomorrow, I may take some time to craft. And, um, I might make some alternative projects with these same cards. Like I'll take them and switch them around a little bit. Different colors, different um, layouts, different um, orientation. All these ones are straight up and down like a book. Maybe I could do a couple landscape. Two ducks. Set those aside. Right. Last two ducks, not last card. <laughs> we have one more card after this. All right. So my two little ducks here are gonna get a couple of dimensionals, and my last card I'm gonna have to cut apart my dimensional sheet because I'm out of dimensionals but that's okay, I will cut up the frame. All right, so this guy I'm gonna put up a little bit higher, and this one, I'm gonna put her down just a little bit lower, maybe like right there, right there, having a little chat. And then I'm gonna bring in my dots here, and I think I'm going to go with, whoops, I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm going to go with this color again and just, oopsie, well, you're kind of stuck there now, so that's where you shall stay. Oh, I colored the male duck with the wrong color. Oh, well, it's okay. All right, last card, last card. All right, so I'm going to start by layering up my bigger pieces. And you know what? I'm going to change this one a little bit. I'm going to use the other side of the designer series paper. And we're going to do it a little bit differently. cut my white piece too big. I wanted a, a thinner border. I like to do, I wanted to try to keep them all about the same and do real thin, real thin border, but trying to keep it in the frame. Uh, okay. I'm going to stamp one thing for this one, and then the rest of it's going to be gluing. So we are going to take the Hello Friend greeting, and we're going to stamp it in Lost Lagoon. I 
I should have brought out pretty peacocks. We're gonna, I'm gonna stamp this kind of in the middle. And then I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer in and we're gonna trim this up a little bit. So I'm gonna cut just Cut the end off there so I can make it straight and then if you can see it I'm gonna line that up don't want to cut off my words got my pebbled path circle from the stylish shapes dies and we're gonna put that right about here it's gonna cover up those little duckies on the paper but you can still see the background there okay I'm gonna set that aside while I layer up my ducks all right so got all my pieces I'm gonna put a little dot of glue here oh wow that's a really big dot of glue that's not cool I'm gonna wipe that off that came out a whole lot faster than I thought it would I literally just want a tiny little dot this is a new container or a new tube of this so it's coming out pretty duck and then I'm gonna swap the colors for the babies and I put the glue too far over okay so then I'm gonna put on the back of my little cattail weed things, whatever these are called, a little dot of glue here. And then we're gonna just glue one and one. I'm gonna put a little dot here for my lily pad. down so it sticks and then I'm gonna take my snips and I'm just gonna snip a couple of these and I've got one big one left for the duck here the mama duck so the mama ducks gonna come up here and then these cutesy little baby ducks finish this off with a couple of peach pie peach pie circles or peach pie dots so there we have it friends four super adorable cards with the charming duck pond bundle 
So I'm gonna bring them all back in and I will show them to you one more time. So here was my original, because that's my ink spot. And here is the one we made. Here is my original. And here's the one we made. Here is my original and the one we made. And then here is my original and the one we made. I just love these cards. I want to say a huge thank you um, to Melissa Faust for sharing her creations out there with everybody because um, it was her that that inspired me to make these cards. Um, but again this was the charming duck pond class to go so um like i said i would love some feedback and um any comments or um just like and share um so i hope you have a fabulous fourth of july if you have a long weekend enjoy your weekend be safe enjoy your families and until next time happy stamping bye